Okay, so today in our reading, um, we are looking at summarising information from the text from pages 32 to 36. And our first question says, which statement best sums up what happens on page 32? Paragraph beginning, the children had heard. So we're just summing up a paragraph. So two girls sat in silence. People died in the workhouse. Children heard horrible stories about the condition of the workhouse, conditions, and some people preferred to sleep in the fields than the workhouse. And there's page 32. And let's have a look. The children had heard. And we can see there, that is the paragraph. So what? which one of those statements best summarise it? Okay. Uh, question two. Which statement best sums up what happens on page 33, paragraph beginning, if we've been kind to you? Tick the correct statement. So let's have a look. We've got Judd and the other woman were watching Emily prepare food. The three women were watching in silence. Rosie dodged behind Emily and Emily was performing magic tricks. So which one of those best sums up what happens in that paragraph and let's just find that paragraph so paragraph beginning if we've been kind to you um okay so there was the rustle of a long skirt no nope. she came straight to no nope. i haven't come to make trouble no uh if we are ah, there we go so you can see there we've got a gap indentation which suggests that's a new paragraph so if we've been kind to you there we go and you've got that chunk there, so you need to read that and then work out which statement best sums it up. You cannot do this unless you read it again. Okay, you cannot go off memory. You've got to read that all over again. It's only a short paragraph. And third question. Can you order the events on what happens on page 34? The first one has been done for you. So the first one is Emily can cook and scrub floors. So what you need to do is locate that. Um, so let's have a look. And she can scrub the floor for you. Okay, so now what we need to do is find number two. But again, you cannot do this unless you've got the text in front of you. Um, so we've got Judd needed to keep it a secret about both of the girls. Judd thought that she couldn't give work to both girls. Emily can cook and scrub floors. We've had that one. Rosie's sister works at Sunbury. Sunbury. Well, it's either going to be a name or a place, but because it says at Sunbury would obviously be a place. See, so it's got a capital letter. Emily flattened and rolled the dough. So you've got to find what number two is. And then three, four, and five. Um, okay, next one is, can you order the events in, in of what happens? That doesn't make sense, does it? Can you order the events of what happens on page 35? The first one has been done for you. So Mrs. Jarvis was grateful for Rosie's help. So we know that is the first one, page 35. And it might not say that exactly in the text, but it will refer to it. So here she said, it's the best I can do to help you, Annie. Rosie said, I can't do no more. It's more than I expected, Mrs. Java said. At least you've saved my girls from that place. So where it says here, it's more than I expected. Uh, as it was. Yeah, it's more than I expected, meaning uh, she was very grateful for Rosie's help. So what would be next? They could hear Emily banging around in the kitchen. Emily found it difficult to look after her mother. The girls wanted to go with their mother. And Rosie left Annie and Jim alone to say goodbye to the girls again you have to read that page again to find um, that evidence 
And what you want to do is don't put commit your answers yet. So what you want to do is like if you think they could hear Emily banging around in the kitchen, if you think that's number two, put it there. Don't commit to your answer fully yet. And then go over the next ones and then eventually when you get to the end, you think that might not be correct. But when you're fully ready, then obviously put your answer in the box and cross that one out. So it's really important that you don't just leap in and put those numbers in straight away. Okay? Good luck.